The glamour and excitement of Premier League football. Many believe it's the greatest league in the world. It certainly draws in some of the best and fittest footballers on the planet. The same can't be said for many of the tens of thousands of fans, mostly men, who watch the game every weekend. OK, everyone, welcome to the managerial dugout here at Anfield. Three years ago, tour guide and Liverpool superfan Alan Hur looked like this, weighing 20 stone and on the verge of a massive heart attack. Through a Premier League scheme, he started exercising, changed his diet and saved his life. Having a massive heart attack at the age of 40, you know, you know something's not right. Um, and then, of course, you, you, you want to do something about it. You've got to do something about it, because if you don't, then obviously the next step is, you know, you, you could be six foot under. Three years ago, the Premier League set out to improve men's health. The project involved attracting 10,000 men from across England to work on their health and fitness. Initially, they found 80% of men were leading risky lifestyles. But today's report shows that three years later, at least a quarter of them have improved their fitness, diet and weight. With the LFC badge, we can attract men to come and engage in activities and in doing so we can get some really important health messages out to them. And it's not just fans who need help. One of the most decorated English footballers of all time discovered he had high blood pressure during a Liverpool health event. It was discovered here uh, on a health kick uh, and, and basically um, I was given the information, I went straight to my doctor uh, and he did something about my high blood pressure. So, uh, you know, I, I'm eternally grateful. This is how Liverpool is attracting these hard to reach men. And 15 other Premier League and Championship clubs have been able to get across the kind of messages health professionals just can't. The overall scheme costs £1.6 million. Today's report recommends all football clubs should get involved. Dominic Hughes, BBC News, Liverpool.